Hello, my name is Joe Asensio. And I'm Steve Horninger. We're your instructional technology team here at the Edwards campus. Welcome to the Rainier Hall Auditorium. Seating capacity in the Rainier Hall is, is about 240 people. It is a theater style seating, has a really nice sound system and sound suppression. There are various light controls in the room, at the front door as you come in, at the bottom of the steps, or from the podium itself. The podium has a display keyboard and mouse so that you can run presentations from the podium. They'd be displayed up on one or both of the large white screens above the stage. Those can be independently controlled and could have the same display or two different displays. Also note above the screens are sound system speakers and on the left side, you'll see one of the two cameras, HD cameras, that are inside of the room. They are also equipped with two HD projectors. Those cameras allow this room to be able to use as software video conference should you engage others in a distance meeting. Okay, here at the auditorium, we're now at the podium. Notice that there's a large touchscreen monitor, a little bit of workspace surface for your papers or laptop should you decide to connect that and then a wireless keyboard and mouse. The typical configuration is the keyboard and mouse are set up to be displaying the content from a computer that's in the backstage. And so let's just go across the top of the monitor. You have the option to have a backstage computer. You could also have a backstage laptop connected to an HDMI or VGA, should you decide to do that, or a stage laptop. If you use a stage laptop, your laptop will be here on the desk and the connections will be through the cubby that are here on the right hand side. You have a VGA connector, audio, network, and power here located inside of the cubby if you need those. Okay, coming back up to the rest, we also have a possibility of a Blu-ray player, which is again located in a rack behind the stage. A wall plate, which is in the middle of the auditorium that a computer could be connected to display from the wall plate. This is an image of the wall plate. We also have the ability to display from cameras, the stage camera, that would be the camera pointing towards the stage, and an audience camera, that would be a camera that's pointed towards the audience. Also a capability of a telephone that would be able to use a conference phone. As you come across the bottom of the screen, you'll be able to see that there are wireless volume controls. That would be if you were gonna be using one of these handheld mics. Notice that there are colors coordinated with each of those, and those correspond to the colors on that particular microphone. So to mute this particular white microphone, you would look for the white color and then use your mute button there. Also, we have the capabilities of using the same color coded in a lavalier type microphone. You can mute or not mute the lectern microphone, change the microphone volumes, and then the computer content can be muted and the volume change here as well. We also have projector and lights control. Besides being able to control from the back of the room or the front of the door, you would be able to control them here from the podium. When you're finished using the computer here, you'd want to use the power button to power down the system. Also remember, inside of any of our rooms, should you need to call for help, we've got a special card or a, a pamphlet of some kind that has a phone number that turns into a menu and you would choose the option for the IT department, for the facilities department, the event specialist, or public safety should you need any of those. Thank you very much.